A few weeks ago, I made a video about water intake and yeah, I was wrong. All right, so a few weeks ago, I made this video about water intake and how I was lowering my water intake because I was getting tired of not urinating clear or peeing clear or whatever you want to call it. And I had uh, gone from usually drinking anywhere from one to four gallons a day down to sub, you know, under a, a gallon a day, just because I wanted to get to a point where I wasn't feeling so much water retention and I was, uh, was peeing clear. So I've done this for the past couple of weeks now, and I have to say, I am backing, I, I was wrong. All right, I was, I was wrong, I was completely wrong. Don't do it unless you feel the need to. This is just my experiment. Do your own experiment. You don't gotta go read about it. You don't gotta watch videos about it, even though I'm making a video about it. Just go do it for yourself. But what I have found is, I was kind of shocked actually. So I, I, I don't know what possessed me to do it, but the other day, I decided to check my weight, you know, cause uh, over the last two months I've lost 23-ish uh, pounds, somewhere in that range. And I was drinking about one and a half to two gallons of water a day, sometimes more depending on if I went for a bike ride. I haven't been riding as much. I've been noticing that I, I still actually started retaining water again, but one of the things I'm like, I don't really think I'm, I'm losing weight anymore. So I checked my weight and sure enough, I've lost one pound since the last time I made a video about losing weight. Now that doesn't seem right. Like you don't, you don't go from losing 10 to 12 pounds a month down to one pound in two weeks. And the other thing, and the most important thing that I have noticed is I have been in so much pain, so much pain. I should not have to go to the chiropractor two, three days in a row, sometimes four days in a row. The pain has been excruciating to the point where the chiropractor is looking at me. He's like, what are you doing to yourself? I said, I haven't changed anything in my schedule. My schedule is the exact same. I do the exact same thing practically every day, which I'm not bragging about, but I, you know, it, it just is the way it is. <clears throat> so I started thinking, and you know how that intuition pops in and intuition's like, well, you stopped drinking so much water. And so yesterday I went back to, I was drank probably two gallons of water, woke up today, pain is gone. Not saying that I'm not completely free of pain because any idiot who uh, gets themselves to the point where they can squat 800, over 800 pounds, why, I don't know, is gonna be in pain, right? You're gonna be in pain. I did this in my early 20s, what can you do? You can't take things back, would never do it again but I did, right? So I squatted over 800, I deadlifted over 800. Everybody wants video. It was 2003. <laughs> what was I like carrying around one of those like VHS? I mean, I don't have video, sorry. And if I did, it was on my next telephone, which I, it, it doesn't exist anymore. But I, I have to back off on my word. This isn't gonna be a long video. I, I'm not gonna drag on about it, but I have noticed that I am more hydrated with fruit for sure. And maybe this is another part of it, maybe because I am eating so much fruit, you know, the quote detox. I, I think there's detox. I've seen things happen to myself that would be considered detox. So I do believe in detox. But if you are going through that and you're not drinking enough water for your cells to get it out, to purge it, and you're also jumping on the cellar sizer, because that was another thing, my recovery got even worse even worse. So it was the uh, no, not losing weight, extreme amount of pain, like excruciating pain. I, I, I don't even know how I got myself to the chiropractor yesterday. And he looked at me, he's like, what did you do? I said, I have no idea. And what was the other one? I forget. Oh, no, not detoxing and the recovery. The recovery was crap. <clears throat> so those three, three things alone, I don't want those three things at all. So I'm going to definitely, I added more water yesterday. Like I said, it was probably about two gallons of water. I, I, I drink everything in liters, so it's hard for me to, I do have two gallon containers, one up there and, or one over there, one in my car. So I kind of gauge it by that, but I also have a liter, uh, a glass liter container next to the sink that I drink. So it's hard for me to 100% calculate it. So I go like four liters is, is a bit more than a gallon. And I drank, I know for sure four of those yesterday, plus, uh, you know, some more water. So anyways, I added more water in. 
I've already lost a pound in a day and the pain is gone. And today I'm just taking recovery day. I have been running so hard so much lately that I, I need to just take a recovery day. I'm making this video and I wanted to talk about this. Again, be your own study, do your own thing. This is mine. This is what I went through. This is what has happened with me. If you haven't squatted 800 pounds in the past, it's not comparable to you. So if you haven't deadlifted over 850, it's not comparable to you. If you have, you're probably in a bit more pain than the rest of us, okay? It just is what it is. Even if you got good form. Everybody's like, well, you didn't have good form. I had good form. That's the video. Uh, that is my correction. I will leave the other video up. I thought about taking it down, but that video might pertain to people. And there has been days there has been days, I don't know why, it's particularly usually on a Sunday, that I will drop my water consumption off drastically and I will clear house. Clear house. I will be peeing all day. So maybe there is this thing that you've got to purge. I don't 100% know. I do know that there's probably some correlation between how much fat you have on you, how much inflammation that you have, how much exercise that you do, and everything like that comparatively to a skinny person. So there's going to be some difference between water consumption, what it does for you, between how much of these gunk that you have on you, fat inflammation, comparatively to somebody who is skinny. There is going to be a difference there, I guarantee it. What that difference is, I don't know. But I do know that this is where I'm at. I cannot be in that much pain. That pain, if you saw, actually, if you guys watched my live, I'm pointing over where I did my live. If you watched my live, you'll see how much pain. I, I, I was in a lot of pain, a lot of pain. Uh, I actually had to end the live. So that is that. I just wanted to get this information out there. I have been just doing experiment after experiment on myself. Again, it may not pertain to you. We're not the same, but Maybe there is this thing where there is days where you might want to purge water. I'm not saying doing a dry fast. I'm saying if you drink two gallons a day normally, maybe drink a gallon a day, see if it purges. But the recovery has been terrible. I'm sorry. I don't know why my nose itches. You usually do that during the winter. Um, the recovery and the pain just, I, are, are, we're so much worse than like irritation for the weight loss stalling, that pain <laughs> was just like, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So anyway, I added water in, the pain is largely gone. I'd imagine as the days go forward of me adding more water in, the pain will go to a place which is tolerable. Hopefully this video did you some good. Uh, this is just my experiment. I really have just been to a point where if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm just gonna do it, do it, do it. If I see that it's not working, I will correct for that and I will make a video about it. Consistency with everything is key and just keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, comments, questions, I think I already said that down below. Like, subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next video. <laughs> Oh, and I probably should point this out because if I don't, maybe somebody will in the comments section. At some point, you are going to start having your body kind of gain more muscle and just different tissues and stuff like that. So the weight loss isn't going to be as fast as it was in the beginning. Another thing that they talked about on that Strong Sisters um, is the idea that you should keep track of your nitrogen levels because that's a better, better barometer of where you are health-wise. Speaking of health, I'm gonna mention one more thing um, than actual weight on the scale, right? So that is a better barometer of where you're at. And the last thing that I wanted to note is Last year, I was I was keeping track of my basal temperature when I woke up, and it was averaging 96.9, and now it averages 97.5, which means the health of the organism, which is me, has increased. And, uh, you know, if people always, always, always just want to starve themselves and just 
treat themselves like trash you know like it's like everyone hates themselves now like you you they want to over exercise under eat wonder why they're crazy in in a bad way and mental health wonder why they're on ssris and then they you know if we look at the the calorie count from women from back in 1940 it was 2500 to 3200 and men was like 3000 to like i i forget but it was over 3000 now people are telling you to live on 1500 calories because they hate themselves wonder why wonder why all they're 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 losing their they're skinny they're skinny but they're losing their hair their toenails are falling off they are psychotic they are constantly watching studies on how to get more skinny and they're crazy right they're crazy and then people listen to these crazy people because they're skinny they're not healthy at all. Think about that before you starve yourself, go do so much exercise that your body can't even handle it. Your cortisol's through the roof and when you wonder why I can't get weight off. So start paying this attention to some of these other external factors, like get a, a, a thermometer, which I've, when I got this thermometer last year, it was so hard to find thermometers. I don't know if it's gotten easier. I don't know what's up with that. But anyways, I've been keeping a track mentally of this and it was 96, the, the highest I saw last year was 97.1. That was the highest I saw all of last year. And now my average is 97 and a half. So that has increased. That is a good, that is a good barometer of where you're at. So keep that in mind. Anyways, really doesn't have a whole lot to do with water, but water and health are very tied together. Anyways, talk to you in the next one. Mm -hmm.